So let me show you a quick way inside of Canva how to um, grab these stickers and make them into individual PNGs to be able to be used and sold as digital stickers. So what I would do is now that this is ready, this sticker sheet is ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, Canva file. So create new design and I want to make it custom dimensions. And this just depends on how big you want your stickers to be. So I'm just going to do 400 pixels by 400 pixels. Oh, wait. Yeah. 400 by 400 is a pretty big, decent size. So people can resize um, in their own planners and it's not pixelated or, or, you know, bad and ugly. So I'm going to keep it that size, then create new. And then on over here, I'm just going to put master stickers. Wait, misspelled stickers. Okay. So I'm going to add a few pages. Let me go to the page manager. I just want to add a few pages. Okay. So let me close this, go to page one. So I'm going back to my sticker sheet and I'm going to select this first, but is anything, let me see. I don't think anything is, um, locked. Okay. So I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to copy command C or control C. I'm going to paste and then here. I'm going to resize this whole thing to fit about the size of this entire page. And that looks fine. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are exporting as a PNG with a transparent background. So we're going to do the same thing for everything. Wait, the same thing for everything. We are going to copy. Then we come here. We're going to paste and we want to make it um, like that. That looks good. Let's go to the next one. We go back. We select all of this copy. And I don't really want to cut this video because I want to be very honest with you and show you how long this takes. It's tedious. It, I mean, it's not bad. It's just tedious. If you're watching TV, if you have Netflix on, it'll make it a lot easier. And I'm not importing the whole sheet. This is just a few of them. I want to put this right in the middle. And let's grab this. Copy. We put it here. Paste. And basically you would do the same thing for as many stickers as you want to export. Right here. Okay, let's go to the next one. And let's grab one of these. Copy, paste. And of course, for those longer ones, like washi tape, you're going to need a different file with dimensions that would fit this. I'm just doing it right now in a very easy way to kind of show you what it looks like to export from here as individual PNGs. So let's do one more. Let's do another one of these. Copy. Paste. Make it a little bit smaller so it fits. There we go. Okay. Let's go here. I'm going to delete these extra pages. We have nine stickers so far. So now what you need to do is download as a PNG. I would go ahead and put it in the middle. Or since they're so big, there's really no need. And just to keep that file size smaller. So let's keep it like that. Uh, I don't know what I did. 
Then we start again. Okay, PNG, transparent. I want all nine pages and I don't want to make it any bigger because that's just fine. And download. If you make it bigger, of course, the quality is going to be better. But it'll be also harder to um, upload and sell. So let's hope. Okay, it's looking good. So let me open um, good notes here on my browser. I mean, on my desktop. Let me open this file right here. And all I want to do, why is this? Oh, there we go. I'm starting to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay, I think that's better. So what I'm going to do is where is where is this thing keeps hiding from me okay is go back to downloads let me find that there it is and i'm going to start dragging okay and i'm going to start dragging those stickers and creating that sticker sheet if you are one of those lucky people you have a mac and you are able to buy good notes for your desktop this is going to be so easy for you but if you're using it on your ipad i mean it's still gonna be easy because it's still drag and drop it's just a lot smaller to deal with and that way you have small pngs that you don't have to crop because they're already cropped for you. Or you know what, like this one you could crop. You can definitely crop. Oh, no, 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 I don't wanna share. Just crop. Okay, and I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter. You could do that if you want. If not, that's totally fine. See, it's cropped. And you can create a sticker sheet directly inside of GoodNotes if you have GoodNotes or if you're just selling the PNGs, that's totally fine. All of these could go in a specific folder. Um, let me see if I can do it here. Or yeah, like just create, oh wait, wait, wait. New folder, there we go. And you just create a new folder with, um, you can name it sticker sheets. And that way, if you're setting on Etsy, for example, you can go ahead and upload those um, those files and that is it i hope this was helpful let me know if you have any more questions